All right. Hey, we're back. Yeah, after like only, what, like two days off? What was that? I'm not even going to front with you right now. I have no clue how long we've been gone, and I have no idea how what we were talking about last time we were here. Uh, see... Oh, no, spoilers. What? Uh, yes, it has been a bit, but thankfully the good Lord blessed us with lots of interesting uh, happenings going on. And we get to we get to reap the rewards of that. We also got to try and do this more consistently. Something tells me. Yeah, like I don't, don't think the YouTube algorithm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think I've said that the last four recordings. Look, guys, uh, we're we're gonna be consistent next time. Next, we're figure it out. Next time we we'll, we'll get around to it. Next time. I, I'm breaking. <laughs> I, I intentionally just, didn't do an impression. You were breaking into it. That's what got me into it. I was trying not to. Trump impressions are all the rage right now. We were we were just cracking up doing the sound test, doing Trump impressions. Uh, we'll get around to those impressions later. Right now, we got to cover some some old news. I was just doing the Trump hands thing. Yeah, uh, you're 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 cursed with it now. Yeah, I do that a lot. <laughs> Even when I'm just talking to people. Uh, but we gotta cover some old news, unfortunately. Such as the... Uh, such as the curse of coming back to a bunch of crap stacked on top of each other. Yeah, I, I think I think us covering these things will cause them to have updates in the future, though. That's That tends to be how it goes. Like, when we were consistent, we were getting swamped with updates. Like, we literally couldn't release a video before new news dropped. So... Uh, let's get these, uh, let's get these, uh, boogers knocked loose. Yes, we'll start with one, uh, something more recent, uh, something that was very irritating to see. <laughs> I, th I was, uh, this story had me a little bit disappointed in the internet, but let's, uh, let's, let's, let's... I'm surprised there's any, uh, appointment that can be undissed with you regarding the internet. I have no idea what that <laughs> means. I don't know either. Uh, see, what is this story? Who is this guy? Uh, I don't are we going to play it or are we just going to fucking talk about it? Uh, I guess there's nothing really to introduce here. We'll just get this going out of the way. Hold on. I have to interrupt already. Why is he wearing this panda mask? Is this like a thing with him? Uh, yeah. I, I have never watched a single Nikocado Avocado video, so neither it beats me. I can't sit through them. I find them very disgusting. I'm pretty uh, sure they're offensive, aren't they? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Uh, that's what uh, Your Movie Sucks was uh, has been positing for, like, years now, that this is some kind of weird kink for him, or that he has some, like... A uh, millionaire feeder guy that's like, yeah, make yourself fat. But uh, clearly that money dried up. I mean, that combined with the, uh, like, mukbang stuff seems pretty, uh, you know. This video is 25 minutes and it devolves into a mukbang at some point, which we're not going to watch because I can't... I hate mukbang videos, dude. They gross me out so bad. Holy crap, this is 25 minutes. How is that even possible? Because most of it's a mukbang. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. That uh, was one of the main reasons I can't, uh, w I couldn't watch one of this guy's videos, because, like, why do people watch this, that content to begin with? It's always so disgusting, especially since they blow the absolute hell out of the uh, audio, so you can hear every single, like, saliva bubble and moloch and strands, like, slurping as they, uh, fucking inhale, like, whatever they're eating. It's so gross. It yeah. makes my skin crawl. Pretty foul. And then also on top of that, usually what they're eating is the most, like, accursed thing you've ever seen. What? Blue Look at these blue taki noodles! Ew! <laughs> he eats a lot of those. I think I have some of that pulled up. I've seen some of, uh, some, like, memes taken from his videos, and it'll be, like, him covered in, like, barbecue Blue sauce. sauce. Yeah, and then just, like, uh, a bunch of, like, completely stained plates. Empty, uh, mind you. I am skeptical that even as fat as this dude was, he was even eating all that. Yeah, Because half these... of these mukbang channels just, like, cough it up, like off screen uh in the edits 
Yeah, I've seen some mukbangs where, like, they'll pause the mukbang to, like, pull a tooth out because they've been, like, uh, like binging and purging so much that their stomach acid just, like, melts their teeth out of their head. Not It's not even, like, purging. Half of these people, like, when you see the videos full of jump cuts, that's them, like, spitting the food out off camera <laughs> so that they can, like, maintain their figure because they're not actually eating any of this crap. Yeah. It's all just, like, being wasted, but... I think if you Apparently, take, like, laxatives or if you barf it all up, you can avoid uh, getting fat from it, but barfing it up will uh, ruin your teeth, and then taking laxatives constantly can't be good on your intestines. What makes a person decide to do this content for their career when they don't enjoy eating? I don't know. I don't understand why people do this uh, just... In general, it seems like a pretty self-destructive see- thing to do. Well, I mean... People seem to like watching these videos while they eat, but... I can't These imagine. videos make me make me sick. They won't make me want to puke. I couldn't imagine eating... Like, eating while I'm watching these. Yeah, I, I can't really imagine eating while watching one of these. Like, I've seen mukbangs where I... I like, the initial spread... I mean, makes like, you sick. No, no, the I've seen. Oh, it usually looks good. they usually they look pretty foul, but sometimes it'll be like that. Actually, looks pretty good, uh, and then you see them eat that, eat it, and you're like, this is supposed to give somebody a boner. Just I, I have no interest in this. I'm, I'm getting uncomfortable because you keep giving me eyes when you take a bite of the crab. There's this one that I always think about where she was eating like a thirty pound lobster. Which you're not even supposed to do because lobsters at that size taste like shit. But, (laughs) like, also she had undercooked it so when she's eating it, it looks like she's eating raw fucking, like... And the lobster... Because the lobster is old and you're not supposed to eat them at that age, it's falling apart like... It's falling apart like cake, the meat. That's... That's gross. It made me almost... Fuck it. I almost fucking vomited watching it. <laughs> I was literally doing those like burps, those like airy burps. That, uh, <laughs> I think they were like playing in a different video where someone was reacting to it, but it was making me fucking sick. I couldn't stand it. That sounds pretty wretched. That's the sort of wretch that I have that sort of reaction to any mukbang video, but couple that with having to gaze upon Nikocado Avocado's, like, fucking bloated, disgusting, like, bulbous body as well. Dude, it was just a recipe for not being able to finish a single one of this guy's videos. The the character he does has always, like, grated against me so much. Like the Because it's obviously a character as well. Yeah, there's no way he's actually like that. It, it's, it has never... I have never been fooled by that. Uh, was oh, anybody that reminds me uh I, I was have you i don't know if it was a mukbang or just like a cooking video have you seen that video of that girl uh she was like cooking crab but the crab was still alive when she started and she just starts ripping the limbs off and like takes the whole top of the shell off and the only like up to the point like it, it's squirming the whole time and it only stops when it has nothing left to squirm Have you seen that video? Yeah, I've seen multiple live animal mukbangs. I'm surprised they're even fucking, like, legal to do. Yeah, I've seen, uh, like, squid mukbangs where they're still alive, and that is horrific. I saw one where the, uh, the octopus, like, uh, suction cupped onto her face and started biting the shit out of her. That one was really satisfying. Yeah, some vengeance. (laughs) On the way down. Fucking hard. That is... That is a tradition I cannot understand. Speaking of hard, this guy. Elaborate. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe we'll be able to actually finish this video since we're not looking at his fucking gross body. Honestly, nasty fucking, like, n- uh, Papa Nurgle gut hanging out of his shirt. Let's let's just pause this, or not pause it, but uh, mute it and let it play so that, uh, you know people get the context of what we're talking about but we don't necessarily have to be listening to his video but uh uh, i think we can just turn it down because i do want to react to some of the stuff he says at the very beginning but uh yeah i think we'll go ahead and press play on this very soon i I, 
Well, I I want to play it because like uh, I want to talk right. about what he says because I'm pretty sure most people already know what he says in this video. Yeah, we don't really need to fucking uh, give a preview on Nikocado Avocado. Let's uh, s see what what happens he from here on. Two steps ahead. This has been the greatest social experiment. See, I can't I can't focus Hold on, on talking while he's talking. Yeah, no. I have to react to what he's saying here. This has been the greatest social ex What was the social experiment exactly? Hold on, you're getting ahead of yourself here. Uh I'm very disappointed. Or f first off, I don't understand this like Hannibal Lecter. Yeah, what's this style, Joker like, mode shit that he's doing? Yeah, like what what is he so, pr uh, so? Yeah, I guess. What is what is the social experiment here? Uh, I acted like a social. I acted like a fucking like social reject. Uh, fat, disgusting retard, and you guys watched it. Like he actually did that though. Like that. that that's that's the part I don't understand about this being. Uh, a social experiment. He, I don't understand where he's two steps ahead on this. Because he did all the things that we saw him do. Have you ever seen the comic where the guy pisses his pants and the crowd of people point and laugh at him? And he goes, hmm, <laughs> rent free. What? Rent free? Like they're, like living, like he's living in their heads rent free. Oh. As the saying goes. <laughs> but really they're just like mocking him. Yeah. <laughs> mocking, what? They're just mocking him in that moment. That's what, that's basically what this is, is like. Everyone's point to get Nikocado Avocado with like diarrhea running down his legs, and he's like, "Ha ha, social experiment going well." <laughs> I got you guys. Ha. You thought I was fat and acted stupid for years, and I was. Jokes on you! I was only pretending to be a fat retard. Everyone knew that, except for the part where you were fat, because you actually were. This is the most unearned fucking smugness, man. Where they feel yeah. encouraged and engaged. Where they involve themselves with the stories. And become a product of influence. Thirsty for a distraction from time unspent. This is a very theater kitty as this, well. I'm pretty sure he literally is a theater kid. I know he's like a violin prodigy. Really? Dangerous. Yeah. We've wow. played the videos of him playing violin before. I thought that was Ben uh, Shapiro. Uh, yes, also him. Weird how that's a two for two there. I only know of two violin prodigies, and they're both uh, pretty strange. Again, this Joker mode shit seems very undeserved, because the only person who was made a fool of was yourself. Uh, and you did that to yourself as well. These movements that he's doing, like the, the head tilt and the hand movements, that gets under my skin so bad. I can't explain what it is specifically, but that that feels like I'm being peeled. I, uh, I That legitimately pisses me off. I don't know why. Uh, probably because it's a person talking like they're some kind of Machiavellian genius. Uh... When in reality, like, no one was... No one was falling for this guy's bit. It's not like no one knew... He looks like a fucking cancer patient now, by the way. He actually looks kind of sick here. I don't know why... Sick as in ill, not, uh... Not as in cool. I, wh why did he cut his hair for this? Uh... To make himself look... Thinner? His age is showing now that he's not fucking plumping himself up. Stories that are true. That's the part that's weird about this. Okay, again, no one was under the impression that this wasn't like a character that he was doing to make money. I mean, so what's nobody the with, master plan here? Nobody with a brain that is attached to their spinal cord. <laughs> or legally allowed to drive. Or has, you know, more than just water in their skull. 
The ants? You are the one who made a fool out of yourself. Also, you are the one who destroyed your body and reputation and fucking, like, soul in order to just get attention from people on the internet. Also, and they gave it to you. How does the, like, OnlyFans tie into this? He's like, you Yeah, I know it. what your asshole looks like. <laughs> I know what your, like, like cot cottage cheese butt cheeks and, like, ruined, destroyed hole looks like. How does that play into this guy's plan? I, I also don't know what I studied those pictures very intensely, for the record. I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> I also don't know what the end game here was. Was it this? Like, okay. Two steps. Okay, no, what happened here was that he hit the point that his weight was dangerous, so he... But he made enough money that he could just, like, spend his time losing it. I feel like this is also a bit, but I don't know what the bit is supposed to be. Maybe it's just that it's, like, ridiculous and over the top, but he's never really been, like, a comedy guy. Or what if he, like, bit his fucking parrot's head off or something and then posted a same, that same video as previously? It's like, okay, you actually bit your parrot's head off, though. Oh, wait, not pause. I wanted to mute. There's no need to mute. I it's... I can... It, I, he, hearing him kiss his parrot is distracting to me. Also, the, the gain is kind of high on there. But, uh... Like, I don't understand... Like, what the new bit is. Because that seemed very, like, uh, character-esque. Or, it, it was a character, obviously. I don't know if he buys the character. I don't think he buys the character that he just did. But, like, Nikocado Avocado up to this point has been a fetish character, as far as I'm aware. Uh, hence the OnlyFans. Uh, but now he's, like, broken that down that character. That was just part of the bit, man. It was, you guys bought into it. You, you Literally. That's, Apparently he had a pretty popular OnlyFans, too. I wonder if he's still on there. Well, that's the part I don't understand about the reveal. Because, like, that kind of tanks his... OnlyFans revenue, doesn't it? Or is there, like, a new fetish for, like, evil masterminds? Just, I, I don't... I don't understand where the, the end game is here. This seems like a misstep profit-wise. I'm still stuck on why he wore a panda mask. <laughs> <laughs> like, what was the point of that? So you couldn't tell it was him? Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> he really got me with that. <laughs> I uh, mean... Uh, I think this is either, like, he hit the point where he realized, like, oh, I'm literally fucking dying. Like, it's not a joke that I'm dying and I'm gonna wear an oxygen mask for a video. I'm actually just straight up on death's door. So he had to lose the weight, or a doctor told him that he had to lose the weight. Uh, honestly, uh, good for him. Uh, like, I, this this is weight it? loss. Yeah, because look at this this weight loss. He this probably, is crazy. He probably looks like he's melting under that shirt. Uh, Unless, I don't know. The skin looks pretty well uh, held together. He probably uh, he probably had like a, a good uh, like skin removal surgeon. Well, but, if you lose it slowly enough, you can also like really uh, pull. Why are why do his eyes look like they're about to pop out of his fucking head? See that they're looks so bloodshot. insanely salty. What he was just making. It is. I've tried those noodles. They are they are very gross. I don't like them at all. But so, to his credit, uh, he's looking pretty healthy now, and uh, the pulling this yeah, aside off from the cancer diagnosis. Yeah, that he does kind of look key mode, but uh, <laughs> key mode. <laughs> I like his hat, appropriating my culture. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? You're Caucasian like me. I mean, I do, what am I? I have to pretend that for the advertisers, you sure. <laughs> uh, but also, this probably did take a lot of, like, uh, planning ahead in order to lose this weight and do this big reveal. So I can understand the desire to have some, like, big, juicy, like, I'm the mastermind, but you kind of have to have, like, some kind of payoff to it. I will say, like, having two years worth of videos, uh, just, like, backlogged so he could continue pretending he was 
pretending he was fat. That was the most impressive part of this to me is that he hid the fact that he was losing the weight from people. But yeah. otherwise, there's nothing about this that's commendable. Like, even the videos he filmed when you really break it down is just his fat ass, like, wheeling around in a fucking, like, electric scooter eating places. That's not a difficult series of videos to have stacked up realistically. Yeah. Like, Especially if he only releases them, like, once a week. You could film, like, all those videos in, like, a month, probably. From, like, a faraway lens, this went from uh, somebody who was uh, pretending to be mentally challenged and was obese for years and then made, like, a sudden, uh, like, recovery in health and did it in, like, a, a impressive way. Uh, but from a close-up view, it's kind of, uh, like, he kind of toppled his porn empire, <laughs> uh, which is kind of what he was founding up everything on for this reveal and you know sure this reveal is cool like it's cool that he managed to pull this off i think he's kind of the way he's pl like revealing it is kind of corny but like it's it's cool that he pulled it off but from uh, a close-up lens it's it it like i'm kind of disappointed in all the people that were like oh my god he's an evil he's genius. a genius a genius at what like, Did you guys think that he was at that all that was real? Yeah, that's the part that I find so disappointing about this is all the people that are watching this and being like, "Holy crap, he got us!" Yeah, let's read the I, comments. I, I of this believed real quick. it all along. Let's be real. This is what we hoped for, rather than facing his passing. Whatever. Uh, I wanted him to die. The fact that he was able to <laughs> okay. keep this entirely private. What we already said. You copied us. I always said to myself that I will get skinny when Nikocado Avocado gets skinny. What? That was your cutoff point? Yeah, I'm gonna he wait. He was probably gonna die before he got skinny. Imagine. <laughs> I mean, and up until this point. Like, this This is... That's the most surprising part about this. Because most of the time when somebody gets to this point, they just don't come back. Alright, people aren't, like, rimming his hole as hard as they were when this video first came out, thank God. Yeah, I think that may be, like, an Instagram thing, because pretty much the only reason I heard about this was people being like, Yo! Yeah, I saw a bunch of edits of this, uh, trying to make it look like it was really cool that he did this, but he made himself look like a fat, uh, retarded idiot for the entire world for years. I don't... I don't think that's a win in the end. Sorry. No, that's that's a, a loss pretty consistently. Yeah, I would... If I got rich by, like, Hold debasing on. myself in the worst way imaginable, which is what he did, I wouldn't be proud of that in the end. This dude just has no fucking shame. Yeah, and he... I mean, he, he's regained some of his face by, you know, restructuring it. Uh, but, like... He's, I don't think that still that's happened. earned at all. Yeah, he's still on the internet for years being Nikocado Avocado. Being a fucking... Being the biggest joke on the internet. This right here kind of, like, uh, set something off for me. This looks like a uh, hospital, uh, like, food trays. Like, uh, this stuff over here looks he like... Probably, he has trays. a bunch of, like, fake medical equipment from his, like, character days. Yeah, I can, I can see that being a thing. Also, I find that kind of uh, kind of irritating. Uh, I really don't like when people pretend to have like medical disabilities. Uh, yeah, I feel like that doesn't get that didn't get called out nearly enough. This dude was in like an electric scooter with like oxygen tanks attached to him. He kept pretending he was dying. He would get in fake fights with his husband. Yeah, that's and like fake not... abuse with uh, the two of them. Yeah, that, that's that's pretty not cool. This whole thing is just jokes on you guys. I was merely pretending to be retarded. And, and people... Pre pretending to be sick and pretending to be abused because I like to make fun of it. Let's see. What else did I pull for this? Turns out, it was all a lie. He played us a second time. Whoa. See? People are giving him props. This motherfucker was lying. He used AI to make this first video, clearly. What? You've all been played.
hair blue and say it's always been blue and half, y'all. We'll believe it. Yes, because I just acted gaining 250 pounds. Who in their right mind does a social experiment gaining 250 pounds for five years in a row? Y'all are so stupid. That is very true, Nick Akato, real Nick Akato Avocado. Current, present day Nick Akato Avocado. So was this one uh, taken, did he record this before he did the review or reveal or uh, was the previous one? He I gained was? all this, no, no, this one was also real, but then he gained all the weight back in a couple weeks. Sure. <laughs> That's my, I fucking was making jokes that he would come out and do some shit like this, but he was... Clearly two steps ahead of me on that as well. Two steps, steps ahead. ahead. Two, two steps ahead, Batman. He got so fat that he made himself into two people. <laughs> yeah, this is just the one that butted off and now has to bulk <laughs> up. <laughs> That's his homunculus. Now all of his fat goes to the homunculus. Fairness to him. He knows how to play this game. Uh, I mean, it's... Uh, it's a good way to boost his numbers. I'll give him that much. Let's see. I forgot why I pulled this up. Two steps ahead. I am always... Oh. Yeah, this one was released more recently. He seems to have like five different channels that I had to go scrubbing for videos. But I can't tell if this one is like an actual documentary about his weight loss. Because... He was two years ahead. Let's see, what is, what are they saying here? He tried to tell people it was a character designed to entertain and nobody believed it. Everyone knew that already. That was not a revelation to literally anybody with a fucking, like, brainstem attached. Bro giving a Light Yagami level speech. Light Yagami is such a gay character. Uh, I is, hate that fucking show. I don't get it. I watched, uh, like, I heard everyone hyping up uh, Death Note, and then I went and watched it, and it is the dumbest thing I've I, yeah, ever I, seen. I can't believe how fucking, like, overhyped that shit is, dude. Yeah, because they're like, oh my god, they're, like, so in each other's heads, They're it's like a game of cat and mouse. Every step could reveal something. It's like... No, they had to do, like, a thousand ass pulls and make the <laughs> dumbest decisions possible to get to the point where it was, like, neck and neck and any decision could tip the scales. It was because they made literally the dumbest decisions and had, like, god-level, like, uh, like, augur abilities to be able to, like, see the future and determine stuff that's completely impossible to determine. Hmm, I, it is literally impossible for me to get caught. How about I act like a fucking retard multiple times in a row? Yeah, and then also the guy on the other because end... Because I'm so smart! The other end, the guy has to make, like, huge logical leaps and just n nail the landing every time. Like, one of the main plot points was... That is, but, sorry to interrupt you, but real quick, that dude is the most autistic motherfucker I've ever seen in fiction. Who, Light? Uh, no, that, like, detective dude that was following oh, him. Yeah. yeah. Fucking, his name's L. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Refuses to wear shoes. Fucking holds his phone like this. Hunched like a gargoyle at all times. Yeah. He's literally, he's fucking like Albert Einstein at his worst. <laughs> Albert Einstein if he had never seen sunlight. Uh, we can't, we got far afield of that. But uh, hold, hold on, on, I cut you off. Yeah, finish what you were going to say about it. So, one of the first, th like, interact, actually the first interaction L and Light have is uh, L has this prisoner go up on uh, on the news and say claim that he's L and give his, like, full name. Uh, and he... he He gives his full name and uh, he does it at, like, a specific time uh and that was to see if light or if the guy would die if the guy would die then he would know that light has some ability to kill someone just by knowing their name which is kind of a leap to assume that he doesn't have like a laser that just like melts your brain 
or uh, is just like shocking him at a distance or something like that. It's way more plausible to assume he has some sort of technology rather than a magic book, which is what he assumed and was correct about. Uh, and then also, he guesses based on the time periods that all these killings take place that he is specifically a school student because it always happens at periods of time where he is in school. Uh, or when, when he would be out of school and would be able to write these things down. But there are people who have the same schedule as schools that are not related to schools, and yet he just nailed he just nailed it. He got, it, got hit the nail right on the head with that. That's because the characters in that show aren't smart. They just guess shit. It's almost like they're written by the same guy who thinks he's really smart. <laughs> and so he's just like, I made this up and I know it. Therefore, I'm really smart for making this thing up that I already knew. Dude, in real life, no one would ever fucking, like... It would be literally you would impossible. Ha you would have to, like, walk through the street televising that you're writing this because if you were right if you were you standing be... in front of someone you wrote their name in the death note and they died instantly uh no, no one, one would make would that believe... connection yeah they'd be like what happened why'd that guy die why are you staring at him when he died that the only weird. possible way you could get caught is if you were caught on camera going up to every one of these victims and writing their names to their face and then walking off yeah but he's doing it from his fucking bedroom yeah, people would have to record you doing it and get the book afterwards and, re re like, read through it and find out that every single one of these cases not only has documented footage of you writing them in the book, but you wrote every single one of them immediately before they died. You'd have to have footage of both sides of this event, and then at the end of it, they'd be like, I don't know, maybe... Are you saying he has a magic book that's retarded? Let this kid go. <laughs> yeah, that's how that would go. All right, enough of that fucking impromptu Death Note rant. Uh, I will take any opportunity to shit on Death Note. I fucking hate Death Note as well. But if you like Death Note, I hate you personally. <laughs> but unfortunately, we must continue. I don't even know what this is. This is just... Okay, yeah, this is just like a short documentary about it. Documentary about him losing the weight? I think so. Is he losing it here? I don't think so. I think this is just the same thing as the other video, but he's fat this time. Holy fuck, that... I could probably eat all this food over the course of, like, an entire day, but goddamn, that would turn to wet concrete in my guts. I could eat this in a day. I could eat this in two sittings. I could eat half of that in one sitting, and then I'd be completely stuffed, and then I'd take a, just like a baby-sized turd, uh, and then I'd eat the other half. And it'd be like four or five hours apart. If I ate strawberries with this, I would literally, like, rocket to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly how to hack my way into that. <laughs> Alright, we're not watching any more of this gay shit video. Let's watch this. He still looks gross. I don't care. I am not AI. I am not a clone. I'm His head is so huge in this. He looks like a Q-tip. Is he lunging forward like a Skeksis? Why is the camera doing this? Yeah, kind of weird. Shave your chest, motherfucker. Why is he in the shower? So he can look wet and gross, probably. There are currently news agencies publishing articles about me being artificial intelligence. There's a video on TikTok with 15. Holy shit, I actually didn't even consider that. What if he is just using AI videos of himself and he is still fat? I mean, it's possible. That'll explain why his head looks so big on his body <laughs> here. That would be crazy if no one caught that. that. So that's obviously not true, but that would be... What if it was just discovered that fat Nikocado Avocado created, like, an even more evolved version of AI and was able to do this? Imagine if he just has a brother. I became a computer programmer! <laughs> <laughs> or whatever the fuck he would do. Imagine if it is just that simple, that he has a brother. <laughs> he just has a twin brother that he had lose weight. Honestly, he wouldn't even have to, like, be a twin. Like, they're, they're... He looks different enough now that I could believe that this is just a brother. 
that looks relatively similar to him. Brother from another mother. I mean, I guess. I <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Alright, let's look at these. Yeah, I think this Heart Attack Grill video was the last one that was... I gotta go there, by the way. That place looks fun. Even if they do relish in the deaths of their fucking, like, mascots and, uh, customers. I, I don't, don't give a I shit. I have no idea what Heart Attack Grill is. Uh, it's just like this gimmick restaurant where the gimmick is that their food is incredibly unhealthy. Like, their milkshakes have an, in have a, an entire stick of butter mixed into them. Ew. Their fries are f all fried in lard. Uh, which might actually be healthier, funny enough. Weird. Uh, what else? The burgers, uh, are all stacked like multiple patties high. And if you don't finish your food, the nur uh, the employees who are all dressed as nurses will literally spank you. And if you weigh over four, there's a big ass scale. And if you weigh over four hundred pounds, you get to eat for free. And if wow. you weigh over five hundred, the fucking owner will show up and like try to like get you to be his new mascot. He's constantly That's having fucked up. Yes, he's constantly having to replace them because they're always dying on him because he feeds them for free. That's fucked up. That is not fucked up. I respect the I respect the grind on that guy. <laughs> Hell no, dude. <laughs> That is that is fucked up. Listen, just because he's a monster does not mean <laughs> that we need to be mad at him about it. That is such like a soulless activity. <laughs> yeah, die, die. The closer you are to death, the more the more rewards you get. I'm just now realizing that most of these videos of him like fucking curled over like a ball of bubble gum are the same exact picture, just copy pasted. Yeah. Wait a minute, I just realized his husband also got fat. So how does that factor in? Like he was willing to almost kill his husband too? Uh, I mean, he probably didn't like drag his husband into this. They probably just chose to do this together. You know it smells freaky afterwards. Why do you have to do that? <laughs> I didn't want to think about that at all. I do want to think about that. I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like these are where like most of his videos were uploaded during that two year span. Let's try and guess when he started this. Why? They don't get nearly as many views as I would have uh, thought. We're g I bet it's when they started getting married. His husband was like, Nico Cardo, you are fat and disgusting. Don't do that. Don't fucking do that. <laughs> he has an accent. Don't fucking I'm not do being that. inaccurate. <laughs> You're being fucking racist. <laughs> you gross me out. Stop. Don't, don't do that. We're going to have enough trouble getting monetized as it is. We're not getting monetized. We're never hitting a thousand subs. That's true, <laughs> but I don't need you making it worse. You're gross. Stop. <laughs> God damn it. All right. Do you have anything else to say on this? Because I think we've pretty much blown our load on the commentary here. Uh, I couldn't care less uh, if it turns out that he never lost the weight or if it turns out he did lose the weight or if he has some crazy revelation about why he loses the weight. It really doesn't matter to me. I have never been interested in Nick Akato. He's always been like a whoa, look at this guy kind of thing. He is me. like the fucking... He's the freak you point at and then walk past without even insulting because you can't bring yourself to put that much more effort into it. I only know about him because people pointed at him. I, I do not care at all. Like, fat people are not, like, new news to me. Why is this guy, like, the big one to these people? Because there's a bunch of fu fat muckbangers that fucking die. Like, uh. every couple months I hear about, like, a couple new ones uh, dropping dead. And, like, a bunch of them have been in videos with this guy. I think it's just that he knows what audience to play to. Like, I, it, it is almost definitely a fetish thing. So he's probably just carrying, like, I he doubt probably most of these... just hit that market right on the right on the money. I really doubt most of these are, like, people turned on by this. Because when you go to the comments, it's all people trying to tell him, like, Uh, Nick, can you, like, quit doing this character and lose weight? This is really scary. 
You don't have to do this to be YouTube famous. And then he did. We in the business call that post not clarity. We should get fat like this. And start an OnlyFans. <laughs> no! <laughs> fat guy OnlyFans. <laughs> no, Holy thanks. shit. <laughs> I'll pass. Is Do gay guys even like fat dudes? I, that's, I don't fucking know, man. I feel like they wouldn't. I feel like... Uh, they have like, higher standards than that. If you're a feeder, shout out in the comments and explain why, and also post your uh, full legal name and address. No reason. Uh, Alright, let's move on to the story that I was really wanting to cover. Really, though, if you're in the, if you're a feeder, I want to I hear, hear your take on life in the comments. Put it in there. I want to see you take... Ah, that's that's going a bit far. <laughs> I'm glad you gave up on that. <laughs> that that would that came off more mean than it did in my head. I'm sorry, <laughs> feeder fetishists in our audience. <laughs> okay, this story's this story's even older than the fucking Nikocado Avocado one. But holy shit, we have to get to this. The there was man, no way. The myth, the legend. Uh, yes. Keyword: the man. Because we are not going to be... We're not going to sit here pretending Chris is trans for any reason whatsoever like a lot of YouTubers do. Uh, I don't know why he... I don't know why it's not bigger news that this dude's pretending. I, I don't know why he is pretending. Uh, he thinks that he can bag a lesbian woman at... You have to remember, literally everything that Chris Chan does is in pursuit of having sex with someone. Not, like, even, like, finding a girlfriend or some shit. It's literally just, like, he views every relationship uh, that he has with a person in terms of, like, how can I, how can I uh, have sex with this, uh, stick my cock inside, I am, mm. uh, and... That includes being trans. Like, there's literally emails of this dude out like, Yeah, I, th I thought it would help me uh, be get with, like, lesbian girls. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fucking weird that that's not a bigger deal to people that this dude does not have gender dysphoria and you don't have to, like, respect this shit. Because he's fucking pretending. If we get shit about calling him he, uh, we gotta cover we, we gotta cover those uh, emails and stuff in the next video just to just to dunk on people. I doubt they will. I uh, doubt anyone even cares about this story still. In but my I head do. canon, in my head canon, Chris Chan is like the Jesus of the internet. Like once he was born, that was like the second coming of the internet. He was he was the entire internet incarnated into one divine being. He is literally the bottom of the barrel, scum scraped off the bottom. And the tr most tragic part is, a lot of it's not even his fault. He's, like, not a good guy. <laughs> he's not a good guy at all, but most of the most heinous shit that he's pulled has been just people, like... Fucking with him? Yeah. It's, it's tragic. Or, like, pretend... It's not their fault that pretending to be a girl will get this dude to give you his fucking checking account... And his social security and his passport. Tragically uh, stupid, just shitty enough to not care, uh, and and led down the worst possible road. It's weird because people blame Chris Chan's autism on like a lot of this, which it definitely is, don't get me wrong. Uh, it certainly has a large role to play. Uh, also, being raised unsupervised on the internet probably didn't help things. Dude. But Chris Chan is not even, like, that far along as far as, like, be like, I've seen motherfuckers who are so autistic that they're basically just, like, zoo animals. Yeah, like, they literally can't talk, they can't, like, communicate whatsoever. Yeah, like, nonverbal. They can't write, they can't read, they just walk around going, <laughs> And, and they're not getting in as much trouble as Chris Chan. Yeah, somehow they managed to not go on the internet and become this fucking thing. Dude, the, the fucking... That documentary you showed me about Chris Chan, there's one part in it that still makes me laugh. The Fanta? No, that is really funny, though. <laughs> that is not funny. Dude, when I used to That watch... is the closest I've ever come to puking from a fucking YouTube... From an <laughs> internet video. Dude. Literally. When I used to work at Walmart, I told uh, my friend about that, 
And then from then on, uh, when we were like, when it got like really busy or something like that, and I, uh, I'd like walk past them real quick, I'd be like, man, we're orange crushing it. <laughs> oh. I think orange crush is a Fortnite thing. It was, fa was it orange crush or Fanta? Uh, orange crush is a real soda. Yeah. I always just called it Fanta, but it might've been Fanta. It might've been crush. Who knows? They're all, it's orange soda. It's probably some off brand. But the, the part that made me laugh in that documentary, like, to this day, uh, was his dad. Like, it was the recording of his dad uh, talking about how he was passing on all of his records to Chris Chan. Uh, but the background for that audio of him just saying all that was the cover of one of his records. <laughs> Chris Chan had just fucking graffitied it with the Sonic Chew. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad for his dad. It was such a heartfelt moment, and Christian did not give a fuck. <laughs> That's because it wasn't any of his other man-child shit. Uh, I think Christian even taped over his dad's recordings <laughs> to record more Son and Chu shit. Well, no, that's the thing. Like, his dad left him all of his possessions when he died. And Chris Chan's fucking... Chris Chan, like, burnt their house down and he lost all that. I didn't even know that. That's why he's living in a motel right now. We should probably start this video soon, by the way. But that's why he's living in a motel, because his fucking... His house... He can't be trusted with love. <laughs> Chris Chan doesn't feel love. He definitely has that, like, sociopath <laughs> autism going on as well. Ugh. This motherfucker does not, like, care about anyone else in his life. Dude, that is so fucking funny to me. Profoundly he shown, sad. He was shown, like, unconditional true love and fumbled it so bad. <laughs> mm. Oh, Chris Chan's poor dad. All right, let's get this going. Uh, Everybody else in the room? But yeah, that's why he's currently living in these motels, because he burnt his fucking house down. Oh yeah, I love these guys that come in. <laughs> these poor cops have no clue what's going on. Was he talking about spirits earlier? Yes. Chris Chan likes to believe that, likes to pretend that a lot of his, like, fictional, like, uh, Sonichu shit is real. And they're ghosts? Uh, he just pretends they're real characters. What was the ghost thing, then? I guess there's, uh, ghosts involved in his lore now. Oh. In his lore, he's basically like a Jesus Christ figure. I mean, and Sonichu is his, like, son or something. <laughs> he's probably so, uh, he, he's probably incredibly lonely, so I'm not surprised at all that he's, uh, just making Maladaptive daydreaming ass. Yeah. Before I wouldn't be surprised at all. At first released by Iwu and reveals Don't call yourselves Iwu. The, the, the hell is Iwu? Explore with us. That's the name of this channel. Cringe. Why is this dude talking like a Joker meme? Also, this wolf logo, like this wolf, goes pretty hard. This this wolf watermark constantly on the screen. Yeah, this ain't your content, motherfucker. Is barely less cringe than Christian. Okay, well, listen, I will comply by what? I'd like to clear up my... I'd like to come back with my things. We'll get that all straight. Yeah, we'll get all straight. What's that necklace he's wearing? And what about my band? He's wearing, like, a dozen necklaces. Yeah, sure. we'll I'm pretty like sure he has a Sonichu necklace that he puts on at some point. While these words may seem insignificant to the officers, they carry a profound significance for... Wait, I didn't even catch what he said. Will be explained later. Holy shit, what I would have... He was just saying a bunch of his, like... While these words may seem yeah, that's just, like, a bunch of his, like, uh, fairy tale nonsense. Was that a spell, or were those, like, characters? Those are, like, some of his characters, I think. Uh, yeah. Every time I, like, look in... Alright, there's already closed captions. Go on. 
Uh, okay, I'll, I will sit down. Anytime I, I, like, hear any update about Chris Chan, uh, it just, like, reassures me that, uh, like, the healthcare system does not care about uh, people because there's no reason that Chris Chan should be living alone uh, and especially shouldn't be taking care of anyone. Uh, uh, he should be in like a place where he is cared for. He needs care or at least like pretty perpetual monitoring. I genuinely think that had Chris Chan not had access to the internet, he would probably be living a somewhat normal life. Yeah, he'd be perfectly... He'd probably, uh, like, have a stable job and be able to rent, uh... I don't know about a loan, but he could he could rent in, like, uh, low-income, uh, apartments and, uh, with roommates. I don't know if roommates would be a good idea, but, like... He would fucking finger them in their sleep or some shit. I wouldn't trust this fucking perverted weirdo around uh, other people at all. Yeah, he'd, 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 he'd wind up in a lot of trouble. But I feel like if, if there was, like, a person looking out for him in his life, uh, this would not have happened. Rather than his senile, dementia-addled fucking, like, octogenarian parents. Yeah. That was, that's probably why he was so autistic, because they had him when they were, like, fucking 40 or 50 years old. Yeah, that is actually a prevailing theory about why he's the way he is. But, uh, uh I have a lot of, or, not a lot of, I, I have a few, uh, like, mentally challenged, uh, family members, and They're a real you, riot. <laughs> Let out our homie! <laughs> and I'm just sitting in the corner like, hey, yeah, <laughs> this guy's getting me going. <laughs> I want to join in. You're one of them, so. <laughs> uh, but, like, my grandparents enroll, like, I, I have a aunt and an uncle that are mentally disabled. And uh, my parent, my, my grandparents just entered them into, like, programs like, social programs that help them get jobs and just, like, help them interact with uh, other people with uh, mental disabilities. Uh, and they're fine. They're, like, well-functioning. Both of them have jobs. I think both of them live alone, too. They're just living in, like, special housing. They have jobs. They commute on their own. They don't drive, but they take the bus to work. They do work, they have friends, they have a social life. Literally all it takes, and they're, mind you, they're, if they were left unattended or in similar circumstances, they'd be in a similar situation to Christian. Uh, it's literally just that they had those programs. That's it. That's all you need to do. Put them in the programs, and it works. I have to wonder if keeping him away from his fucking, like, man-child cartoons might have helped things as well. Because, like, this sounds like a joke, but it isn't. I think shit like Sonic kind of makes autism shit worse. Just because, like, the way those characters are designed with, like, the big-ass eyes and shit. Like, it helps, it helps these people to read emotions. Like, unironically, a lot of them will say that. That's why... It, a lot of them are so attracted to Sonic. Yeah. But can... it doesn't teach you to read, like, emotions on a human being's face. It has to be, like, in check. You have to, like... I, I think... Plus, the characters do not act like a normal human being would. I think you have to ground that. I think that's a good gateway, but, like, you have to, like, ground that afterwards by having real social interactions. Ah, not being, yes. Not being, like, vacuum-sealed into Sonic as your own... As your only form of, uh, like, social interaction or, like, human interaction. So what we're saying is, uh, smash the TV when they try watching it and chain them up outside with the dog to socialize. That yeah, is the sure. best. That probably actually would have, uh, helped him come out better, unironically. Uh, they should have enrolled him in a program where he could make friends ever. Uh... I wonder if he ever has ever had a friend. Yeah, a physical person. Is there a physical person in the room with you? Like a person he hangs out with. There's no, no. way, right? I don't think so. Because he's been like this... It's been a slow decline since he was a kid. He's so well documented that we can pretty confidently confirm that he has never had a friend. I'm going to have to turn this down a bit. 
is the opposite of turning her down. See, look at it. Let's look at what's on here. Uh, there's his coloring supplies. I do not want to know what he's doing with that lotion. Uh, yeah, that's like head and shoulders, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's head and shoulders. I wouldn't know what shampoo looks like for some reason. <laughs> bald! 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 <laughs> Some Pepto Bismol. No, 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 not uh, Pepto Bismol. Tums. Like he has like comic shit out that he's drawing. Okay, well, I identify as female, and I would appreciate I would appreciate if I was respected as such. It even says so much driver's license, female. Okay, that's fine. Just making sure. As one. I gotta say, these cops are weirdly cool. Like they probably have had a few run-ins with Chris Chan. I'm um, being real. Ah, uh, doubtful. He's pretty fucking mobile. Like, is he? Uh, this is not his hometown. Yeah, this is this is like a random motel he's staying in. Is he just on the run? Not on the run. I mean, his house burnt starts... down. Where did his mom go? Uh, I don't know if she's dead or not yet. Because this that's why he's getting arrested is the shit with his mom. Oh. Which. That took a while. No, no, this was when he was arrested, like, a year or two ago. How long ago, How long did it take before he got arrested uh, after he, like, molested his mom? Uh, I'm not sure. That's what this arrest is. Yeah. I can't believe we haven't, uh, I can't believe I hadn't pointed that out yet. But yeah, this is him uh, getting arrested. I don't think he just molested that woman, by the way. Uh, 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 why is he out right now? Oh yeah, didn't they release him? Yeah, I think they they said they found that he didn't do that, but like, isn't there he, footage of him doing it? Not footage, but he said in an email that he fucked his mom. Oh, like he said that in an email to like the fucking crazy ass, uh, that fucking crazy ass bitch that like convinced him to do it. I don't know if we ever talked about that story, but holy shit, the chick that like. Uh, coerced him into fucking his mom is such a, like, reprehensible, evil scumfuck. Yeah. It's crazy. I think you and I talked about that, uh, like, on a walk once. I don't think we ever talked about that, uh, like, on the channel. She's like an Eastern European, like, animal torturer fucking, like, internet personality. Like, that's her, that's her fucking, like, presence on the internet is that she tortures animals and shit. And that she's, like... Co coerced multiple dudes into killing themselves. And maybe, maybe arrest that one. <laughs> arrest, huh? Yes, arrest her, figure oh, out. Oh no, if things she's... went wrong! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably, probably uh, the more extreme option. It's just, she was I'm mean to a kitty cat. stay monetized here. Good thing we didn't uh, elaborate anything. Yeah. She was mean to a cat. Oh, she made guys commit suicide? That's weird. Quirky. Yeah, these cops have been, like... They, like, uh, apprehended him without, like, much incident. And they're willing to call him by his fucking preferred pronouns, which I'm not even willing to do. I think it's because he just has, like, that aura of, like, complying with stuff. Alright, okay. How are these cops like? Yeah, he's saying that they're for the trolls, but they don't know what that is. How are these cops like not briefed that Chris Chan is like an internet personality before this? I mean, honestly, I don't think it matters that much. Holy shit, if I were a cop arresting him, I'd be dropping so much fucking lore right now. <laughs> Just like, dude! Dude, this is like the mother of all busts, guys. <laughs> Holy shit, guys. I literally know more about this guy than I do about my own bank account. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, like, I know more about this guy than my own father. <laughs> I dropped out of high school, but thank God I know everything about this guy's life. <laughs> I've been watching this guy since he was, like, five years old. It's insane. <laughs> Lots of people have, too. Dude, wait until I tell you about the Orange Crush. 
yeah. or Julie. Was it Julie or Jenny? Julie! It was Julie. Hell yeah. I think that was one of his first catfishes that he fell for. Hell yeah. That video of him humping that, like, half-deflated sex doll is one of the most pathetic things I've ever seen in my fucking life. Wasn't he doing it in, like, a garage, too? Uh, it was his bed, but his- he has, like, the most- he had, like, the most dank, dungeonous, disgusting-looking bedroom that it looked- it looked like a bed just, like, in the corner of a garage somewhere. Yeah, it looked hot in there. Like, it did not look like it would ever be comfortable in that room. It was crammed floor to ceiling with his fucking toys. That's part of the reason why his house burned down is because the whole thing was. <laughs> it was full of his shit, his dad's shit, and his mom's shit. Jesus. Look, the fucking uh, people are starting to gather around. How did these people know where Chris Chan was to begin with? He is the messiah of the internet. They have to know. I straight up don't know how people are able to, like, figure that kind of shit out. Like, I'm pretty online, and I couldn't begin to tell you how to find someone. It's it's either, like... Probably helps just, I don't have the interest in doing that. Yeah, it's, it's either people that do have the interest and are willing to figure that stuff out. Or it's them just messaging Chris Chan and asking them where they are, where he is. I know it's pretty easy to, like, find someone's IP address from, like, if they post an image on the internet. It's pretty easy to decipher it from that. But... Like, does Chris Chan have, like, a fucking, like, internet profile somewhere that he posts shit? Probably. Yeah. Oh, fuck, he drives. I like how he shows no signs of nervousness. He's completely comfortable in this situation. Dude, he is, like... I don't think he understands, like, the severity of, like, any situation he's in because he maintains this exact same emotional level. I mean, with the shit he's been putting up with for years of people just, like, brutally trolling him, I really don't think he cares about this. He's probably been swatted more time. Like, being swatted for him is probably, like, a, a weekly occurrence. That was kind of the point a little bit. Meanwhile, the evolving situation outside still has the officers on high alert. Yeah, these guys are, like, worried that these people are fucking, like, criminals that are on Chris's side. Uh, I mean, they kind of are. They are degenerates that are, like, unhealthily obsessed with him. Yeah, they probably want him to be released back into the wild so he, they can get him to molest more old ladies. Christian just farted, the fuck? <laughs> he even said, pardon my flatulence. Hell yeah. Hold it in, you fucking animal. Nah, let it run. Okay, well, if I may speak, the shape of the big yellow thing at the bottom there... He literally thinks it has fucking magic powers, like a purity seal or some shit. Why does that Sonichu medallion just look like a solid gold, like, pot puddle of slag? Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he got a, a, a Sonichu medallion made out of gold. If he could afford gold, which, with how much shit he buys and how he's living in motels, I wouldn't be surprised if he just... Someone probably would have casted it out of bronze or something. Like, that's all, that's not very difficult to do. Wait a minute. Bisexual. He has said specifically that he is not attracted to men. When did that change? I mean, I think that might just be part of, like, the net he's casting. I'm a bisexual trans woman. What did this guy just say? Sassy Nick wants to, but Officer Nick d doesn't? Okay, he sassy. Wants to what? Why is Nick so sassy? Uh, 
I have no clue what these guys are talking about. It sounds real fruity, though. What? Sassy Nick is probably just, like, one of their cop buddies. That's why just a nickname for him. No, that's the guy holding the camera. His oh. name is Nick. Chris takes this moment to deliver a puzzling warning to the officers. By the way, if any of y'all has been feeling a punch like sensation on your leg, that is my husband, Magic Chance Sonic, you right on the opposite side of the universe. Holy shit, his autism has evolved into full blown schizophrenia. I wonder what would have had to go wrong in my life for my autism to get to this stage. Uh, you would have had to have never made friends. That's... Hit my head a few times. I, honestly, I think it's just, like, crippling loneliness and being, like, absolutely harassed by the internet. Okay. Alright. May I have the other, my earpiece tucked behind my ear, just please? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I do. Alright, but on that, this way. I'm gonna stay recording while we get to the vehicles in case these people address us. Okay. You don't know any of these people? I do not know those people, and I. Okay. Yeah, those are trolls! They're following me from the internet! Do not record me! Chris, 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 they're probably encouraging that. This is gonna be trending on the internet. These <laughs> correct. <laughs> Once we cover it, hell yeah! Like a year too late. Chris imagines. Hey, thank you all for y'all for real. Appreciate it. I wasn't convinced that those were like internet fans, but that confirms it. There you go. I mean, Google Chris Chan or Sonic you, and there you go. I've been infamous and famous. Oh. oh. How does anyone go on the internet without, like, learning what this, who this dude is, at least in passing? That's, that's when, knowledge of Chris Chan is, like, the determining factor of whether or not you are, like, too well online. Yeah, as soon as you hit that is when you've hit, like, the muck of the internet. And I have pretty much an eidetic memory of this fucking guy. You're in it deep, man. <laughs> I, I'll glance at your phone while you're going about your uh, daily business, and uh, I have no hope for you. I keep a good faith. Everything is going to work out. I just recognized what's on his shirt. That is... That is... Oh, my God. You're right. That is cursed. I have been looking at that this whole time, and it's just now registering. Same here. I knew it was a shape with very light colors. I knew it was Sonic characters. I did not realize they were, like, fucking finger-blasting each other or whatever the fuck. I figured it was something like that. I just couldn't make out any of the details because he was hunched over. They are just, like, kissing each other. <laughs> Christian handles himself weirdly well when talking when talking with people. You know, when he's not pepper spraying them for Sonic's arms being the wrong color or some retarded shit. <laughs> Has he gotten violence with? I I feel like I remember a story like that. Yeah, Christian getting violent over. The yeah, he pepper sprayed a GameStop employee over. It was the first time he got arrested. <laughs> uh, I wonder if there's any merge of dimensions. I wonder if there's any body cam footage of that arrest. It'd be worth looking into. They're putting him in the front seat? I didn't know they did that. Yeah, what is that? The fuck? Aren't there guns accessible from there? I mean, he's handcuffed, so that's something. But, like... He only goes with this person. These cops are but so the chill. Holy the shit. Isn't over for the officer tasked with driving Chris to the police station. And as you'll witness, Chris has so yeah, these guys are kind of cool. To share. Uh, or they seem cool. All of that. And people just taking it, blowing it out of the water. Yeah, I gotcha. Hey, and, and, and up to and over a month from now, the next celebrity scandal is going to happen. Okay. And they'll be all over that. All right. This poor guy just sitting there like the fucking dude from Parasite. 
Huh? Uh, that meme of the Korean guy, like, driving with the rich <laughs> chick in the background. <laughs> A bunch of the memes I saw were just about this cop having to sit here and listen to Chris Chan recite Sonichu lore to him. Dude, this guy is in the presence of an internet legend. He he better do this inter he better do this homework and then like go and talk to all his friends about he how he literally met Jesus of the internet. I met the Chris Chan guys. What Mike, the hell who is the that? Fuck are you, Sassy Nick, who the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I gotta show you this documentary. That's actually funny that uh, you were confused on some of his uh, dumbass lore because he's about to explain it. Oh, joy. I believe in everything that is right and positive. Not really. Except for sexual consent, I'm not cool with that. And that will be proven in the, in the near days to come as we are on the completion of the Dimension Merge where the universe half that was divided in 1380s by order of King Arthur, he ordered Merlin and two other magicians to remove and banish all dragons, unicorns, and other... This is literally like something a five-year-old would make up. This feels like I'm listening to a five-year-old recite their Lego lore. I find it uh, kind of crazy that he's taken Merlin and King Arthur and combined them with Sonic. <laughs> it's such like I didn't even register that he was doing that. I, I would have never thought about that crossover. Hold on, what the fuck? I missed a thing. What a fucking cavalcade, man. Who the fuck is Darkwing Duck? I don't know. I've heard that character name a bunch of times, but I'm picturing, like, fucking uh, Donald Duck with a Batman persona or something. I've seen some shit like that, but, like, yeah, so I don't think it was Darkwing or whatever. I have, I still have no clue what Darkwing Duck actually is, and I'm not interested enough to look into it. He might have made it up, who knows. He didn't, that's a real thing. Oh. I'd probably go with Spider-Man. He's gonna come around, you're gonna meet him. Alright, I can't wait. Yeah, I'm gonna meet him. 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 Yeah,
on August 8th, 2023, two years after the arrest. The charge I'm out here with my knee a, on a neck, straight floating it. Okay, if you're gonna say that, then I could just say what it was. It was just, uh, it was just, uh, George Floyd photoshops to be white, and it just says, I can breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I did see that, yeah. That one's so much. <laughs> Alright, I really want to get to, uh, big old Donnie T, but, uh, unfortunately, we might have to, uh, call it quits, take a break for now. Yeah, we'll see you consistently from now on. Yeah, we'll leave it off on that George Floyd meme. We'll let you guys imagine <laughs> that. Or make it yourselves, even. That'll be a fun little project for you. I'm willing to bet you guys have seen it. If you're watching this channel, you've probably seen the same memes we do. What do you mean? Our fucking channel is spotless. <laughs> it's spotless because it's all spot. <laughs> It's just one big black void. You can't see any of the dirt and grime and racial slurs on it. It's like a wall of shit. You can't see any individual piece of shit because it's all shit. All right, enough of that. We okay, shall bye. We shall see y'all in a bit.